host of New Hope Network Soapbox Series. And today I'm here with Jesse Laflamme, founder and CEO of Pete and Jerry's Organics. Welcome to the show, Jesse. Thank you for having me. For those who aren't familiar with Pete and Jerry's Organics, can you tell us what inspired you to start the company? Sure. So we uh, we actually go back a little farther in uh, producing eggs than than myself, um, but the business changed a lot. So it was actually started by my grandfather as a conventional egg farm, and my parents took it over in the 80s uh, as a very small family farm. And uh, because it was small and because it was a family farm, the, uh, the the world really changed around them in terms of whether they could be competitive in agriculture or, or not. And, and the reality is they were not, unfortunately. Um, so about 21 years ago, I came back to the family business when it was really struggling. And we were just starting to make a transition to organic and free range eggs. And we saw it as an opportunity to keep the family farm in business and produce eggs the way that we wanted to produce them. You know, free range, organic, naturally caring for the hens and, and keeping our scale on a, on a family farm. So Jesse, I love eggs, so I'm really happy we're doing this interview. I, I have questions around terms and standards when it comes to eggs. Can you share a little bit about what those terms and standards are and why they're important to you? Sure, yeah, and, and you're not alone. I mean, it's a really confusing category. So right now, uh, you know, it runs everything from conventional store brand caged eggs um, all the way to uh, organic pasteurized eggs. So there's a spectrum in between. And we really focus on uh, certified organic free range and conventional free range eggs. So battery caged eggs, uh, which make up about 85% of all eggs that are produced and, and sold in this country are, are produced on factory farms, really in um, terrible conditions, quite frankly. Uh, just to, to give some perspective, about nine hens will live in the space of an average microwave oven in a wire cage for their entire lives. And uh, the, the barns, the, the sheds, uh, warehouses that these hens live in can house as many as 250,000 to 500,000 hens uh, in a single structure in these cages stacked on top of each other. And a, a typical factory farm will have as many as uh, a million to three million hens in one place. Uh, so it's you know it's a it's a massive agribusiness. Uh, stepping away from that, cage free is uh, an improvement in animal welfare, and a lot of retailers uh, and even even um, food service companies or, or restaurant chains like McDonald's have made a commitment to convert to cage free sourcing cage free eggs and using only cage free eggs by 2025. Uh, and even though cage free sounds sounds good, it's not really what most consumers expect uh, when they hear the term. The egg industry has figured out how to produce cage-free on a, on a massive scale. And there are now some cage-free facilities, uh, which they, they resemble uh, warehouses with shelves. And the, the barns uh, house as many as 380,000 hens. And a farm is being built with 3.8 million cage-free hens, actually in the Arizona desert right now. Uh, so again, cage-free sounds great. It's definitely an improvement for animal welfare, but not what most consumers expect. Uh, so the next level, and, and I like to say it's a breaking point where consumers uh, are starting to get, are, are getting what they expect, is free range. And, and in our case, it's certified humane free range, which is certified humane is a third party certifier of all types of animal welfare. And it's really kind of the gold standard for, uh, and, and the largest program in the country for for uh, animal welfare um, assurance. A certified humane free range means that the eggs are produced on smaller scale family farms and that the hens are able to go outside and, and range around in the grass uh, and dirt and do what hens like to do, get out in the sunshine. Um, and that's, that's a real departure from cage free where they never get to go outside. Uh, and again, the scale of the farms is, is very different. The next level in our world um, for, for Pete and Jerry's is certified organic uh, free range eggs and certified organic. Uh, of course, most people are familiar with is, is the USDA organic uh, program and the, the, the hens uh, from their from their first day of life essentially have to be eating organic grains and have to be raised without pesticides and hormones and and everything bad uh, that's used in conventional agriculture. And, and that's the largest part of our, our business as well. 
Uh, and then the then another level is pasture raised in emerging space and and pasture raised it may or may not be certified organic and it's very similar to to free range um, but the hens have more space outside um, sometimes they utilize it sometimes they don't but farm scale tends to be smaller as well uh, so to, to your point it's a it's a there's a lot of terms and a lot of confusion in the category but consumers are, are moving into the space rapidly, uh, the better for you and, and uh, better welfare for hens. And it's uh, changing and evolving. I have so many questions as you're speaking about the terms and the standards, but one of the things that comes to mind is would Pete and Jerry's, is that what is the certified humane free range and certified organic, what makes Pete and Jerry's unique? I guess, it, you know, when we're looking at your competitors. Yeah, it really is. Um, the, the idea that we're certified humane and free range with organic is is relatively unique um, because not many uh, in the in the organic world, uh, unfortunately, USDA standards um, go quite far, but they don't go as far as ensuring that the hens are, are free range uh, to to a standard. And there is an effort underway uh, with the Organic Trade Association to strengthen the, the USDA rules with the uh, organic livestock and poultry production act that's being proposed but right now it's it's there's a little bit of a gray area so certified humane free range really differentiates pete and jerry's from from competitors do you farm all of pete and jerry's eggs or if not how do you meet demand it's a great question so we do not farm uh all of our eggs and that decision came very early on in our growth um, as the as we converted to as our family farm converted to organic and free range egg production we, uh, we went from barely surviving to uh, emerging in a market that was growing very, very rapidly. And we had the, the choice before us to expand the, the family farm to try to keep up with that demand or really shift and do something we'd never done before, which was to find like-minded families, uh, small family farms who who wanted to do, um, to, to wanted to produce eggs, but really didn't want to uh, process and deliver them to market and and try to sell them to retailers. Um, so it ended up uh, it's ended up being a fantastic partnership with over 100 small family farms in about a dozen states who supply our brands and adhere to our, our animal welfare and quality standards. I have one more question for you, Jesse. How do you, Jesse Laflamme, spark change? Uh, innovation and, and trying to do do good in food. <laughs> <laughs> for lack of, you know, we want to uh, we want to continue to push our category and lead our category and produce produce better food in this country. There's 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 a need for better agriculture. There's a need for better care for animals, uh, farm animals in this country, and, and we want to make that change happen. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.